G'day, Nick here from cpapreviews.com.au. For those of you that don't know, we review CPAP masks, machines and accessories so that you at home have a better idea as to what might work for you and also you can uh, learn from our experience as to what are the pros and cons of all the different bits and pieces that are out on the market. So today we're going to take a look at the Fisher & Paykel ESON nasal mask. Now uh, this is a brilliant mask, um, a nasal mask, which means it just goes over the nose. Um, but I'm going to show you what makes it a great mask and um, why it could be suitable for you. Now, one of the things I really love about this mask is that on the exhalation vent, it has a filter. And I'll just take that off and show you what it looks like. So it's a little bit of filter material and it sits in this little... Um, this little part of the mask that sort of goes over the exhalation holes. Now what's brilliant about that is that the exhalation holes is where the air escapes from the mask. Okay, so as you're exhaling, the carbon dioxide and the air that you breathe out uh, escapes from that mask and it goes out through these holes. Now all CPAP masks have these exhalation ports on them, they're a must, but what they normally cause is, is a lot of noise and also um, the air flowing out through the holes can sometimes also not only rebound and hit you in the face, but also if you're sleeping with someone, um, you, you know, they, it can affect them as well because the air sort of shoots out across um, at them. And different companies have different ways of sort of, I guess, um, reducing this effect. Um, some have, you know, holes that angle downwards um, and, and some have holes that go right around so the air sort of disperses out evenly in, right around the whole area. But this, I think, has got to be one of the best best methods to reduce these effects, okay? And that's with this, this filter on the part, on the mask there. So it makes it really, really quiet, okay? And that's obviously one of the things you're looking for when you're getting a CPAP mask, is that it's, it's quiet, okay? The mask isn't whistling, it's not making a lot of noises. And you get a quiet mask if it seals really well. And by sealing, I mean it's, it, it, there's no air coming out from the actual mask seal. That tends to cause a lot of noise and also from the um, the exhalation port there. So I really love that filter that they've put on the mask um, at the front there. And that's changeable. And when you get when you get an ESON mask, it comes with a pack of them. Um, probably about six to eight little filters in there. And they're not expensive to replace either, okay? So you can pick up a, a, a new pack if you've um, gone through them for maybe uh, you know, between $10 and $15, okay? Um, after a while, this little filter here will get um, a bit dirty, so it will start to discolour. And once it starts to discolour, I just recommend just throwing it out and putting a new one in, okay? You don't want to be really washing them. I think it's more of a replacement filter. So it just goes on the front there like so. It's easy to change, easy to replace. Um, this part of the mask here, is a quick release part, so it just pops off. Okay, the idea behind that is that with when you've got your tubing connected to this part, if you're getting up to go to the bathroom at the night time, you can actually just um, stop your machine and just pull that off. It's a quick release thing, so when you come back, you can just quickly click it back into place. Okay, so most masks have that these days. It's nothing new, but that's um, certainly a good good feature. Um, Another great thing about this mask that I really like is just it seems to seal really, really well, okay? And, and being um, a sleep scientist, fitting a lot of masks, you soon develop an understanding as to which masks sleep really, seal really, really well and which masks don't, okay? And this one does, okay? And when we're talking about the seal, I'll just take it off here and show you. We're talking about this, this section here, okay? So this is the part that goes on the nose. Okay, and and Fisher and Paykel have developed a really good seal here. It it just it holds the air in really well and it doesn't leak. Okay, so that's a really good a really good seal. It's also a really durable seal. Okay, and being durable means you don't have to replace them as often, and so you don't have to spend so much money on parts. Whereas I'm sure of you out there that have CPAP equipment know. Um, if you're constantly buying parts, it does add up over time. It can be quite expensive. So being a good, durable seal that seals well is, is a great um, 
is a great thing. And also, it's very easy to take on and off for cleaning. Okay, so that's a really good part about this mask. It's easy just to pull that part off. You can take it over to the sink, give it a clean, or give it a wipe if you've got some CPAP wipes. Keep it nice and clean there. And when you come back, you can just push it back in and away you go. Another good thing is, if you need to change size, okay, not that your nose is gonna really grow bigger, um, but you might find that you've you know, got the wrong size. Uh, all the different size cushions, so this is a small, if they've got a medium and a large, fit onto the same frame there. So it's very easy just to click on one and click on another if you find that you might have you know, a small and, and you think, oh, I could probably go medium, you can get the next sizing up. Now, sizing wise, you can download a sizing guide from the Philip. Uh, from the Fisher and Piper website, okay, and, and that way you can actually cut it out and, and check which size is suitable for you. Um, but yeah, this one's a small one that I've got here. Um, so looking at CPAP masks, I really like masks that are easy to fit together, they're easy to uh, assemble and easy to take apart and easy to clean, and this one certainly is that. The other thing I really like about this mask is that um, it's well harnessed on by this great head gear. Okay, the head gear, um, has a crown strap on it, which tends to lock the, the CPAP mask in place and hold it where it needs to be at the night time. So when you're moving around at the night time and you're going from one side to the other, it, it really holds quite well. And once again, that goes with the whole theme of getting a, a good seal so that it's, it's not noisy. Uh, leaky masks also tend to wake you up during the night, okay? So if you're moving over and the headgear is not holding it in place, there's more chance of air escaping and waking you up or waking your partner up, etc. So this head here is really, really nice. It's a nice material, it's very soft, um, but it's well harnessed onto the head, okay? You can see it there. All right, so it's very well harnessed on the face. Now the head here um, comes in small and medium large, so ML. Um, and, and this one's a small one, um, but most most guys are that, that medium, you know, medium to large size, so you get that sort of head gear. But if you do have a small head and you're wearing, you know, small caps and you're always doing the notch up on the cap right at the end, you might be better off getting a small size. Even if you did get a medium large head gear, um, you know, which comes standard from the sizes uh, when you buy the mask, it's medium cushion or a large cushion, it'll come with standard medium large head gear. When you buy the small cushion size mask, it comes with a small head gear standard. All right, so keep that in mind. Um, if you did get a medium large head gear, it just means that you pull this to strap back a bit, so it's not a, it's not a big deal at the end of the day, okay? Now, a tip when using this mask is not to constantly be adjusting the Velcro back and forth. When you go to take it apart, or when you go to take it off, always use the clips. Okay, the clips are on the side here. They're good little clips. They're solid clips and they're not, they don't break. So the frame's really sturdy there. So you can see there's a little clip there. You want to get into a habit of, when you're putting it on, put it on with the clip. When you're taking it off, take it off with the clip. You don't want to be in the habit of constantly adjust, uh, taking off the Velcro, okay? Once you've got it right, you shouldn't really need to be adjusting the Velcro all the time. It should just be a once in a while thing if the head gear stretches a little bit. The reason I say that is that with all Velcro and with all the masks, you find that eventually what happens is the Velcro stops gripping, okay? And you're gonna have to go and either, you know, get a new head strap, which costs money, or find a way to sort of make it grip, maybe you staple through it or, you know, you know, start doing a bit of sewing. Um, but if you just get into that habit there of undoing the clips, it means your head gear is gonna last a long time and you're gonna have to replace uh, not as many parts, which is the, the name of the game. All right, but this headgear is good headgear. It's durable, okay? And it lasts and it's soft and it's quite a good. Um, the frame part here does come up to the top of your head, but it's not gonna leave impressions, okay? Because there's no part of the, the frame that's really touching the top of your head there. It's more just the straps, okay? So I'll put that back together. Back on. So when we're putting this mask on, take the strips, the, the straps off, pull it down over the head onto your nose there, pass the straps under your ear and clip onto the side, once again on the other side. You want to make sure that all the straps are relatively evenly spaced. So if you've got one, say back to this part here, you want the other one to be about the same. Alright? That way it's going to sit nice and flush on your face, it's going to be nice and centered. 
The more centered the mask is, uh, the less leaks. Okay, less leaks, less noise. Keep going with that theme. Um, in terms of tightness, you don't want the mask pulled really, really tight right into your face like that. You want it so it's, it's relatively firm um, and, and without uh, being um, without being tight, if that makes sense. So if it's if it's pulled really tight, it, it tends to hurt your nose and hurt your face, but it also it doesn't work um, in making the less mask leaks. Got them a bit muddled up there. Um, so just firm without tight. A good way to do it is probably if you're on CPAP therapy like, and you're on a set level of pressure, start at that pressure, put your mask on, get it to a point where you feel like it's, there's no mask leaks, okay? And then that way, um, when, it, when the pressure does build up over the night, you're gonna be where you need to be. All right, so that's sort of a, a few tips um, with regards to this mask. But one thing we have noticed is that uh, a lot of people are coming in for this particular mask from the sleep labs in the hospital. And if there's, um, the technicians at the hospital are fitting a lot of these masks, you can be guaranteed it's because they seal well. Because as a tech, as a sleep tech, the last thing you want is leaky masks because not only is it, um, you know, it make your uh, recordings, your sleep data uh, worse, but it means that you have to generally go in there and fix them up during the night. And as, as a sleep tech, you don't want to be going in and knocking on on uh, you know patients' doors at the night time, fixing up leaky masks. So generally, the sleep techs tend to find the best masks that uh, seal well, and they tend to fit more of them. The more of them the sleep techs are fitting the masks, the more patients come in with the prescriptions for these types of masks. So the Eson is definitely a great mask, um, and I would highly recommend getting this mask if you are looking for a nasal mask. All right, there are a number of different nasal masks, but this one is certainly a uh, a highly recommended mask. All right, so that's the Fisher and Pike of Eson nasal mask. There, a brilliant mask, one of the best for 2014, 2015, and I hope that they don't change it too much when they come out with a new version. Uh, hopefully, just some tweaking to make it even better would be perfect. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you'd like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video. Also, feel free to put some comments there at the bottom. Um, we do enjoy your feedback. Uh, it does take a bit of time to do these videos, so we do hope you enjoy them. And uh, all the best with your CPAP therapy for the future. You can also jump on our website if you like at cpapreviews.com.au. So thanks again and goodbye.